if we apply the historical standard of the GOC consistently, then it would mean that the GOC today is fallen from orthodoxy and apostate because of the recent union with the Senate in resistance. If you go to St. Markella Cathedral, you now have to leave because the union with the Senate in resistance is an act of apostasy and betrayal. Because the Senate in resistance is schismatic, uncanonical, and Metropolitan Kiprion, the founder of that group, was deposed two times by the Greek Old Calendar Church. And according to some so-called TOC Christians, he is a heretic. So if you, you know, go to that St. Markella Cathedral, you now have to leave. And I refer people to the information below in the description box. I no longer believe in the old calendarist movement because these people never gave me any reason why they should be taken seriously on orthodox and spiritual matters. And in the latter half of last year, I came across polemical in information, which, as far as I'm concerned, disproves the whole old calendarist paradigm. I now am thoroughly convinced that these groups are schismatic. And this bothers me because they are deceiving souls. So look in the information below in the description box. And, you know, I protested this for a long time. There, the fact that the GOC and St. Markella Cathedral were giving communion to new calendarists in direct violation of the GOC's 2002 encyclical, which in categorical absolute black and white terms forbids this action. No exceptions are allowed whatsoever, but they were hypocritically giving communion to new calendarists. And you know that if you were not a part of the old calendarist system and you were receiving communion at St. Markella Cathedral or any GOC parish, then according to that 2002 encyclical, you were receiving communion as a consuming fire to your own condemnation. So either the GOC didn't care that they were giving you communion as a consuming fire to your own condemnation, or they didn't believe in their own encyclical. So, I knew Metropolitan Pavlos and Bishop Christodoulos were Kyprianites, and it was just inevitable that they go into communion with the Kyprianites. So, they're frauds, they're hypocrites. Pavlos and Bishop Christodoulos and other bishops and clergy in the GOC never should have been made bishops. They're not the right material, and they're hypocrites. And, by the way, in case you didn't know, Pavlos slandered Father Gregory of Colorado when he was a priest in the GOC, and he has not repented of this malicious slander. He has not humbled himself and apologized to Archbishop Gregory. He's now Archbishop in his own particular system, his own particular church. And yet Pavlos has the nerve and the audacity to go to communion regularly, suffering from the delusion that he's somehow going to become sanctified, even though he's maintaining sin and slander in his life. It's like these people have no fear of God. It's like their, their delusion is so deeply entrenched in their souls. So the GOCK, Kalinikos, is fallen according to the original or the official Greek old calendar standard. So you people have to leave them. I actually encourage you all to leave all the old calendars, Greek schismatics, and return to mainstream orthodoxy because this is the one holy Catholic and apostolic church. And I thank you for listening.